Hello and welcome to the boxing tonight. The first fight of the night, the main fight of the night, with Ninito Donaire, Gula Malrigandus, coming up in a bit. Um, first of all, Felix Parejo is in the ring at the moment, watching this live on Box Nation. So probably main event will be in about half an hour to an hour's time, so I'll probably cut off a few times between then. So if you want to carry on listening, this will only go on for 30 minutes. So please go back onto my Twitter account at Boxing Peter, where you will, where I'll put my link on to the radio, to the live commentary. I'll be giving you live commentary for tonight's fight. So um, first of all, it's my thoughts on the fight. I've predicted a Rigo win. How is it going to Um I think it's going to be a close fight. It's going to be an interesting fight. But I think Denaire comes in favourite. But I think Regan Lewis has that special edge that I think will win him the fight tonight. His counter ability, counter attacking ability is one of the best in the sport at the moment. Um, his amateur experience is going to come into it. He's had so many fights with other amateurs. He's still going to come into it. So, we're into our first fight in a moment. But, um, I'll first of all tell you more about Regan Dews uh, coming in 11 and 0. Um, obviously, coming in with WBA Super Bantamweight title. He's um, beaten Ricardo Cordoba, um, destroyed Willie Casey, Tion Kennedy, and Rico Ramos, all three fighters. Suffering 10 knockdowns in total between them. Although they're not in Rigo's league. That's probably the point here I'm trying to make is that not in his league. So, really, Denair, Rigo, this is a fight where the two fighters are matching even. You know, pound for pound fighters, these are in the weight division, the two best in the weight division. Uh, the only little fight of round up, you could see to compare to him is Abnamaris. And my opinion of Mares isn't of the same level as Denaire or Rigo. So, you know, that's the way I see this fight. There's um, two of the best fights. It's almost like a male of a Pacquiao, but a lighter weight. So, um, obviously over here in the UK, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. So, I've been waiting up for a while. <laughs> keeping myself awake, luckily. So ready for this fight and um did an early knockdown in his fight in the first round. Just over a minute to go in this fight in this first round has been a knockdown. And that's gonna be it that's it. Fight over here. So his undergod fights lasted less than two minutes. First round knockout, two two knockdowns. I think it's the undefeated lad that's got knocked out as well. Can't quite tell the ball from black shorts. But impressive really. Some good punches there. I'd love to bring him up but I don't know much that's happening myself to be honest. I didn't know he was fighting. So I'm just gonna watch it again. There's a big right up got a left hook that's knocked him down. He's wobbling and another right hand. He's down and out. That was the second knockdown. The first one. It's another it's a body shot that brings his hands down and a right hand at the top. It might have been hurt from the body shot. And then the second one, uppercut hook. And a lovely right hand, right on the top of the head. Well, you know, in the temple area. Really good punch. Took advantage straight away to quality not get For the Cuban fighter. Yeah, we're going to get confirmation of who it is now. No, 
that it was the danger. We got the knockout. Probably gonna have four knockouts now. Well, yeah. So the right one was the undefeated lad that won. Impressive performance, really. Really impressive. Body shot to set up the first knockdown. Left to the body and then the right to the head. Perfect, perfect combination, really. For a young fighter, obviously, just the fifth fight to be throwing combinations like that. Now, that's the talent that amateur boxing brings you. Now, people probably underestimate that with Rico coming in with such amateur experience. People say, well, the amateur experience just does mean little, but the lessons you learn in the amateurs is crucial and punches like combinations like that, left to the body, right to the head. It's perfect and as you could see, as I so saw just there, the beautiful left to the body, left hook to the body, brought his hand down and the right hand over the top of the head, knocked him down and pretty much ended the fight there. Before the second knockdown a quality combination again. Great punching. Now we've got Steve Bunce on there. Yeah, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, just showing a replay now. Straight after the referee had done the count, just let him go, let's start the fight again, straight in there with the uppercut. He knew there's no need for a jab, no need for a jab there. Because you know he's out, he's gone, he's out on and his feet at the time. And just a combination at the end was all he needed to score the knockout. Great combination, great, great boxing there. Bidejo, so I have to be looking out for him. That might not be how to pronounce it. Being a Cuban, he probably got a better pronunciation than that. First time I've seen him, pretty impressive. Impressed me to be honest, impressive performance. Tonight, plenty of boxing coming up in the coming weeks. With Austin Trout against Canelo Alvarez next week, which I will be covering again. I'm really looking forward to that fight as much as this fight tonight. Um, following that is Danny Garcia fighting against Zab Judah, Amir Khan, Julio Diaz on the same night from the UK. And the week after that, obviously, Mayweather. Guerrero, which should be a re real good fight. I've got a sneaky feeling Guerrero could win that, but we'll have to see. Probably favour Mayweather going into it, but I think there is a chance that there could be the surprise on that night. Just some more fights coming into the ring at the moment. Another undercard fight. Sean Monaghan, Irish and American, undefeated in the ring now. I'll get some a lot of commentary on this. For if you're interested in NBA, Bobcats won earlier 95-85 over the Bucks. Um, Boston Celtics won 120-88 in Orlando. Well, the Los Angeles Clips are currently 88-85 up in Memphis. And Timberwolves at 101. 88 ahead over the Phoenix Suns. They're both into the fourth quarter, both in the last two minutes. The first two, the Bobcats and the Celtics winning, are finished. They were 12. Brett Stanley, the man Sean Monaghan's fighting. Seventeen and out ten knockouts for Monaghan. So I'm sure he'll be like to me. We'll have to see now. 
obviously light well heavyweight division not exactly the most illustrious division so it may be a chance for this young lad well say so young in boxing terms not so young now see what he has here see what he can offer to the light heavyweight division and but if you haven't heard the news Bernard Hopkins will be defending in July I can't remember the day if we'll be defending against Carol Murat, he's an IBF mandatory challenger. That will be happening in America. Big chance for Murat. <laughs> for obviously Bernard Hopkins, for once, will be heading into favourites in that fight. It's not very often he goes in favourite, but he always proves the odds wrong. We start round one here. Monaghan with High God. Stuck in a few jabs to start the fight, hasn't thrown anything yet. Guess I'll be jab now. On the front foot. Stand there on the back foot. Bigger fighter, but Stanley, I mean, um, Monaghan, much more lean and much more muscly. Probably the right hand there, lands. Goes in again with a right hand, Stanley backing up. Oh, that's a beautiful right hand by my hand. Left hook, right hand, and another right hand over the top. That's a haymaker shot there, he's hurting Stanley already in his first round. This might not go too long. Stanley throws the right hand back, it's a decent shot. Good jabs, three jabs there, all landed. For Monaghan. Good right hand now by Stanley. Landed flush that time. Frozen jabs, good jab there. By Monaghan. Monaghan with a jab again. Constantly putting Stanley on the back foot. Good right hand again by Stanley. Combination by Monaghan. Another combination. Crowd cheer that crowd enjoying that. That's a big right hand. And Stanley's down. I don't know how he's going to get up, he's holding the ropes, he's not going to get up, he's staggering, he is up, for the referee now, it's staggering, Monaghan wins, almost exactly the same time as the last fight ended, 107 to go the first round, well, there's some good punches being landed in there, the right hands were impressive, setting him up with a jab, good jab, Stanley had his own success with his own right hand to be honest but um, in the end good right hand over the top and too powerful in the end the Irish lad moving to 18 I know 11 knockouts now I'm sure he have had harder fights than his career but that's good we've just seen it again good combination double combination 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 goes to the body and a massive right hand over the top hey make a right hand and close as well Solid on the chin, it's really muster. And after that, he's just staggering when he gets up. Yeah, just see it again. <laughs> yeah, beautiful right hand. Just as I mean, Stanley was hoping to open up himself. Yeah, went to throw a left hand himself. Left hand got caught on the outside of Monahan's right shoulder. Giving Monahan a free shot at his chin. Took it without. Further ado, and Stanley was on the floor and staggering up. Looks like he's limping a bit. I don't know if he's he did land pretty hard. So whether he hurt his leg when he went down. It's a beautiful finish again. Second beautiful finish in the night. It's actually so. We're getting a fair money worth of knockout punches here. Getting a fair treatment. I have set the right hand up. Just see it again now. Do we win? Close the body shot. That doesn't land. And to see him close the jab and the jab's just a lazy one. It's on the inside. And Stanley pulls into the trick of maybe trying to bowl to the left. 
Well, it's probably more jabbing than rolling, but just throwing the jab. Stanley's just Luke Jones is inside and throwing the right hand. Continues the knockout for Monaghan. Second solid victory of the night, so two impressive victories there. Also, I want to remind you for any football fans or for American viewers, soccer fans, then tomorrow I'll be covering live commentary for Chelsea versus Manchester City in the FA Cup semi final from Wembley. Should be a quality game. I'm really looking forward to it. The winner will face Wigan, who threw last tonight earlier on a 2 0 victory over Millwall so please tune in for that if you're interested should be a good game always good games of watching through this se season between Chelsea and Man City really good game two attacking sides got plenty of talent in the side plenty of invention that midfield they have and it's going to be a really interesting one. Both teams want silverware. Manchester City got nothing out of the ring. Not going for the title now. Obviously, Chelsea is still in Europa League. Obviously, Rafa Benitez would love to take two titles as interim manager. So, please join for that if you're interested. Here in Steve Bunt's store now, on Box Nation. Nothing like Steve Bunt's, is there? Probably one of the best pundits in the UK, really. Probably in the world. Like, but. Said hand to sports back in the day. Now, Box Nation. It's great to have him on. Always great with the fans as well on Twitter. If you want to talk boxing with him, he's always there. Always in his talk boxing, a great boxing fan. I don't know if there'll be any under undercard fights. I must finish a few highlights of earlier. It's not the biggest of undercard fights. We're just going to break now. But it's not the biggest of undercard fights tonight. But I'm going to leave you now. Because once I'm back, you'll be able to find me again. So don't get forget. Onto Twitter, my account, Boxing Peter. And I'll give you the link there once I'm on back on live. The live commentary of the fight should be on in about probably 15 20 minutes. But anyway, keep on the lookout, and I'll be back soon. So, thanks for listening so far.